The money bubble burst in the 2013 World Series of Poker One Drop High Roller when card player columnist Matt Glantz eliminated Yevgeny Tymoshenko, guaranteeing that all of the Final 24 had locked up at least a $173,000 payday. We caught up with him on the next break to learn more. Yeah, it was a really good spot for me only because I had a big stack and um, even though my table was tough uh, by reputation, those guys had short stacks on my table and uh, Bill Perkins was the only one with chips um, like myself at the table. We both had like 50 blinds and he was to my right, so I was in a real good spot. So I really wanted the bubble to continue, uh, but it was one of those spots where it's, it was blind versus blind situation where uh, Yev had nine blinds in the big blind, so I just shoved small blind with a lot of hands, queen four clubs. Obviously not what I want to see, but that's a shoving hand there and uh, just standard, and yet he just turned over aces and, and I flopped, you know, I just got super lucky, flopped the flush draw and hit the flush in the turn. Now only 14 players remain, with Glantz being one of the top five stacks. We asked him for his thoughts on the rest of the field. Uh, yeah, a lot of tough players left. I mean, obviously, the, the field starting was pretty tough, and you know it's going to wind down to the toughest, toughest players in general. Um, there's just an enormous amount of great players. Uh, my table is Nick Shulman, Antonio Esfandari. Um, who else is at my table that you think? Um, uh, Olivier Biscay and, and Claude are at the other table. I'm blanking out who's at my table even, but it's been such a long three days to get here. Glantz played a big hand just before the break, laying down ace-king against an all-in from Bill Perkins. We asked him to walk us through the hand. Oh, yeah, it was a weird spot, a uh, really disgusting spot, actually. Um, me, the three people in the hand all have about 4.2 billion at 50K, 100K blinds, so we all have about a little over 40 blinds. And Brandon Steven opens the button to 200K. Um, the small blind with ace-king, so I make it 575. And then uh, Bill Perkins in the big blind with the same stack just looks at his cards and s actually said before he looked at his cards, I hope I don't have anything here. And he looks at his cards and he goes, I'm all in. So Brandon starts tanking and Brandon's thinking and thinking and, uh, and you know, my, my head's racing like uh, this is a pretty sick spot. Um, and Brandon eventually folds after a minute or so. And so now I'm in a sixth spot where I have to call off my entire stack, which is 42 blinds, um, or fold um, Ace King here for 575 and be, be left with 36 blinds or something after the hand. Um, so I decided after maybe like a minute or so, I decided it's just a better fold than, than, uh, than call there. And uh, I think Bill Perkins' range there is probably Ace King plus. I don't think he ever has an Ace King. And, so either I'm flipping or he has me crushed and, um, it's, you know, it's not easy to fold his king short stack. Like, you know, the, the tournament's pretty short stack. The average stack's like 35 or 30 blinds. So we were both above average and, uh, you know, it's a tough spot to fold his king, but I found, you know, I found a way to fold it there and, uh, sort of happy I did, but we showed the hands after he had ace king also. So it wasn't the best fold, but against, against his range, against what he could have, I think it's a pretty decent fold. With more than $4.8 million for first, there's plenty of money on the line deep in this event, and big jumps between payouts on the horizon. We asked Glantz if the size of this event, and the fact that players don't get many opportunities to play for such large sums, might inform his decision making. The thing is, the pay jumps aren't that big right now, from down, from 24th place down to like 10th place is not very much, so, so really there's no immediate money jumps to affect his decision making, but anyway, the, just because we're playing a big event shouldn't affect your decisions so much other than that if you feel it's affecting other people's decisions at your table, then you should, you should counteract that. Make sure to stay tuned for more coverage of the One Drop High Roller and everything else going on at the 2013 World Series of Poker right here on Card Player TV.